Hey guys, Matt here, and today we're gonna do a quick little talk and demo on my new favorite cutting tool. So you can never have enough metal cutting tools in your shop or in your toolbox. It always seems like when you're working on a job, you have a tool that you think will work and you get in there and it just isn't the best tool for the job. That's why I am never hesitate to pick up another cutting tool if it has some sort of feature that might help me out and help me get a clean and also safe cut on a project. So this right here is the three inch adjustable head cutoff wheel. Uh, cutoff tool and it is basically like the little cool new little brother of the uh, our very popular long reach cutoff wheel. Now this these tools are in the same family as you can see they have very very similar design you know the, the styling of them and the function of them, of them are, are very similar that's why I kind of am calling them siblings if you will. So the adjustable head cutoff wheel is really really handy because obviously as the name states you can actually adjust the head of the cutting head on this wheel. So simply by loosening up this little lock here, you get 25 degrees of adjustment or uh, rotation in it that we can rotate the cutting wheel just like that. Now, it may not seem like something that's that big of a deal, but when you start getting into cutting panels uh, and cutting things in vehicles, um, it, it gets to be very, very difficult. So I'm gonna show you a couple instances where this thing has really helped me out with cutting uh, some on some projects, and uh, we'll show you a couple more of the features along the way. All right, so this is my first kind of example of where this is really good. As soon as I got this tool, I saw I thought of this job because I've been kind of putting it off. And anytime I build these old uh, 20s, 30s cars that you need to basically replace the whole inside of the car, the whole bottom of the car, you uh, end up needing to brace the car with box tubing. So you have box tubing running all around the body, um, then you cut the car apart and do all your patchwork, and then you end up cutting all that box tubing out. Well, usually you need to tack weld or stitch weld the box tubing in place uh, in some corners in which it's very difficult to get them out. So a lot of times what I do, just like this car is a good example, is once I get the floors and the bracing all stuff good in the car, you cut your bracing up. I usually end up cutting it like out into here because it is a job that I always dread. I end up doing it like at the end of the fabrication process. Uh, and that's just cutting off the tack welds that are in these tight corners under the dash and in the trunk and things like that. So with this, um, adjustable head cutoff grinder. If we had a normal cutoff grinder, if we'll use this for uh, our example, basically like right now I'm gonna be running into the door trying to get these cuts on that tack weld because it's just a straight uh, cutoff wheel there. So by taking this, we'll loosen our head, tilt that back, that the full amount there, and then now what we can do is I can get in there comfortably like this and make a nice uh, clean cut through those couple of tack welds. Um, and then I have some that are on the top side here that I need to cut. And then we can take this little piece out and grind our welds smooth and we should be good to go. So I'm gonna start cutting these first welds. All right, so now we're over with uh, one of the cars I'm doing some rust repair on, and this is a perfect, perfect use for the adjustable head cutoff grinder. So um, what we have here is a, a, an area of this car that I need to patch, and you can see it's all rotted out in here, and I did kind of like a jagged cut to get to an area where we're repairing 
in the B pillar, and it's very difficult to kind of cut these panels off in a nice, smooth, consistent way. If you do a, a body saw or a saw of some, some kind because the car's kind of floppy in the sheet metal here because it's so rotted, it's gonna vibrate the heck out of it and probably bend a lot more sheet metal. If we're using a standard cutoff wheel, uh, what's gonna end up happening is, is when we're trying to make this cut, I'm basically running my hand right into the frame and I'm kind of gonna just naturally end up tilting my cutoff wheel up at an angle which is gonna give us not a very accurate cut. So by taking this tool, we can click this open, click our head back, and then we can lock it in, and it's gonna keep us nice and comfortable here where I can make a nice straight cut, and in this instance, I can keep my hand, backside of my hand right on the frame here to keep me nice and steady, and I can just work across just depending on the way you're cutting, you can cut either way. Now the reason you can cut either way, uh, or if you wanna just kinda of change where, where, which way the sparks are flying, there is a switch right here on the back, that is a forward and reverse. So you can basically change the rotation of the wheel by doing that. You can also change the speed on this knob here, but I, I, uh, I'm a hot rodder. I like keeping it wide open all the time. So um, I keep it at the high all the time, but you can change the forward and reverse just by turning this little switch here. So I'm gonna cut, I've already scribed the line here where I need to cut off this old crappy metal, and I'm gonna show you guys how we can do that. I'm gonna just do a quick test just to check my sparks and we'll change our rotation and we'll be off and running. All right, so that was a couple of quick demos of where I've just been dying to use this tool. Uh, when I first saw this tool, I was just like, a couple of those things just boom, popped right in my head that I needed to take care of on a couple of my projects and having this tool just made it so much easier. So again, the tool is, uh, is really, really handy. It has tons of power. You can adjust the speed. You can adjust the rotation. You can adjust the head. It is just fully, the most fully adjustable cutoff wheel or cutoff grinder that you will come across. Now it works off of very little CFM considering how powerful the tool is. It needs just over three and a half CFM, which most of your standard home hobbyist compressors can you keep up with. And since it uses the three inch cutoff wheels, you can get them pretty much anywhere. You can stack up on, on a bunch of those, they're very affordable, and you can be cutting panels and using this thing over and over and over again because it is very rugged and very durable. So if you wanna learn more about the three inch adjustable head cutoff grinder, you can click the link down below, or you can visit eastwood.com and get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks guys, catch you later.